Let's now shift our focus to the latest on Maisha Kada. The government plans to register all the 965,000 Form 4 students with Maisha number to ease their transition to tertiary education. Appearing before the National Assembly Education Committee, Immigration Principal Secretary Professor Julius Bitok says that the strategy is to ensure when students get to 18 years that they are facilitated to get the cards which will then be integrated with relevant government agencies. He also informed the committee the ministry has enhanced the issuance of identification documents and reduced the period for production to less than 10 days. Here's that report now. As from four students across the country started their final exams, the National Assembly Education Committee invited Immigration's Principal Secretary, Professor Julius Bitok, to explain measures his department was taking to issue the students with identification documents as they prepare to join colleges. PSB Talk indicated the government was in the process of issuing all the candidates with Maisha number that will be generated into Maisha card once the holder attains the age of 18. As we speak right now, and when this problem of university students came up, we decided to prioritize issuance of cards to people who are completing school. Those are MPS. The new version of identification document known as Maisha Card contains biometrics of the holder in a chip that is integrated with other databases of the entire government. The PS says new applicants will have to pay 300 shillings, while Kenyans seeking to replace old ID cards will pay 1,000 shillings. We no longer need to fill any forms. We no longer need to fill anything. You just go to Uduma Center for your, for your biometrics, you do it on your phone, you go to Uduma Center, and then, then you get your card within 10 days. Even for the frontier counties, we initially felt that they were discriminated. Right now, without letting them, they also get the IDs without any discrimination. The government projects at least 20 million Kenyans will have upgraded their ID cards to Maisha cards in five years. You have heard of people whose land is transferred. Somebody puts somebody's ID, they change the picture and, that, and do that kind of thing. You have heard of people who withdraw other people's money from their account. You have heard people who do, do what you call sweep subs. But with the new generation, third generation ID, you can't do that because the biometrics and the information about the person is in the chip. When you present it to a bank, they can look at the chip and they know the ID is not yours. The professor says the department has enhanced the production of IDs by reducing the waiting period to less than 10 days. Ishokiwashira, Prime Edition.